Hello class! Today we are going to create an awesome project which is a vase with some flowers in it. Ooh. And I will be doing all of this in both English and Spanish today so that we can use this when we're doing our Spanish immersion classes. The first article that you will need, the first item, is a piece of paper. It works great if it's even longer than this piece, but this piece is what I've got today, so this is what we're going to use. Okay? Un momentito. Okay, chicos y chicas. Hoy día vamos a hacer un proyecto de arte. Vamos a hacer un vaso en que vamos a poner algunos flores. Okay? La primera cosita que vas a necesitar es un papel así. Puede ser un papel un poco más largo, pero está bien ese porque eso es lo que tengo yo hoy. First, you put down your paper. Then we need to make our vase. The best way to make a vase is to take a colored paper and fold it in half. La mejor manera para hacer un vaso para flores es tener un papel doblado así. When we cut a paper that is folded in half, we will always get a mirror image and that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna cut a line like this. Chicos y chicas, cuando cortamos algo que está doblado, siempre vamos a tener una imagen que es el espejo del otro lado. Ahí está. Thank you. So, my young students today already have their vases made for them. But this is the one I made. Now, the next item I will need is glue. I have some funky glue today that goes on yellow. Here's my funky yellow glue. Yo tengo que ahora pegar mi vaso para mis flores en mi papel. Lo voy a pegar así con mi pegamento. ¿Qué es amarillo? ¿Qué divertido? Mi estudiante tiene una pregunta. My student has a question. What do you have going on today, dude? Um, probably, um, what's the art, art project we'll do tomorrow? Oh, wow. I will have to come up with something really fab. Now, the next thing you need is a piece of paper that you can use without paint going through it. Okay? Wow. Sí, la próxima cosita que vas a necesitar wow. es un papel que es griso, así que la pintura no puede ir de I dos lados. Yeah. We should, we should must cut the flowers. Now, place your paper on top of the vase and then fold it in half. Just once, okay? And then unfold it. So we're going to put our paper on top, fold it in half, and then unfold it. Muy bien, chicos. Ahora vamos a poner el papel encima del vaso para los flores. Vamos a doblarlo una vez. Y luego abrir el papel. Now comes the fun part. I would like for each of my students to tell me two colors that they would like to use. Liesl is going to say her colors in English. Which two colors would you like to use, Liesl? Pink and pink. Pink and pink. Very good. Looks like we've got an orangey pink and a regular pink. Okay. Chicos y chicas, ahora mis estudiantes me van a decir qué colores quieren. Carlyle me va a decirlo en español. ¿Qué colores quieres, mi amor? Pink and verde. Verde y... Rosa. Rosa, there they Rosa. Okay, so with these colors now, this part is very important. You're going to take some of these colors and you're just on one side gonna make some dots like that, okay? Why? I will show you in a minute, okay? Carlisle, you go ahead just on one side. Liesl, you can use your orange now. Okay, ahora. I want the dark pink. Okay, well, we'll do more of that too. That's perfect, Carlisle. Ahora vas a usar la pintura para poner algunos puntos solo en un lado de tu papel doblado, ¿ok? Solo en un lado de tu papel doblado, ¿ok? A ver igual qué vamos a hacer luego. Does anyone have a guess what we'll do next? What? We'll see. Ok, oh, that's great. Can you do a couple more little dots? That's really cool. All right. Lisa wanted to use some more. Can you do a couple more dots there? And Carlisle, can you do a couple more dots with the other color you wanted? 
Or did you want verde? You wanted green? Okay, very good. A couple dots just on this side. Very good. And you know what? I'm also going to put some blue, I think. Yo voy a usar un poco de azul también. Así que solo estoy poniendo puntos en un lado. So remember, yes, I'm putting the dots just on one side. That's perfect. Now comes the magic. Are we ready for some magic? Okay. Ahora vamos a hacer magia. Vamos a hacer magia. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Okay, chicos y chicas, kiddos. We're gonna take our paper very carefully. You see, we have our dots. I put two different colors and we're gonna fold it and smush it just a little bit. Okay, vamos a doblar el papel con la pintura como este. Vamos a empujarlo un poco así, pero no mucho. Y luego, then, watch me carefully. Mira me bien, chicos. Y luego, then, we're gonna open it and we have created a flower stamp. Hemos hecho una estampilla de flores, okay? Now watch carefully what I do with my estampilla. Look what I do with my stamp. Watch this, I go one, and then you can do two, and maybe three. So, very good. Right here, uno. Do you want to do it again? Yeah. Okay, how about you do it this time? Yeah, you do it yourself. Dos y tres veces. Three times. One, two, three. Wow, look at those gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous vases of flowers. Then you can repeat. These papers we will either throw away or we could keep as another type of art project. Estos papeles vamos a poner en la basura o podemos... Tenerlos como arte también. And then we'll repeat the process with more paper and more colors. And I will show some pictures later of what these turn out to be. Y yo les voy a mostrar... Oh, un momento, mi amor. Que hemos hecho más tarde. Lo repites con más papel, pero no usas ese papel que ya has usado. All right, very good. Thank you so much for joining me for bilingual art today. Mommy. Gracias por estar conmigo hoy. Vamos a hacer más arte. We're going to do some more art. Have a great day. Que tengan buen día.